Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. All right, everybody, I'm so excited for today's video because the projects today are kind of Valentine's-y, but they can be up in your house all year round. I was kind of going for decor that just emulates love instead of it just being for Valentine's Day. And I really think that you will absolutely love these projects today. So with that being said, let's get into the first DIY. All right, and here we go with DIY number one. So I am going to use one of these little decor pieces from the Dollar Tree. It has like, you know, number one teacher on it and whatnot. I got them quite a while ago from there, but they do usually have them in stock. And I just took off the tag in the back and now I'm just using my staple remover there and just prying up that metal piece there. And there we go. And it reveals this burlap behind it. Now I'm just going to create a little bit of a template here. So I just grabbed one of the hearts from a Dollar Tree sign that said welcome and it was all hearts going all the way down. And that was about the size that I wanted my heart to be on this project. So I just traced it out and I'm cutting it out and we are going to do some string art on here. You guys know I absolutely love doing string art. It's so pretty and it's so much fun to do. So here I'm just marking off where I am going to put the nails in and I used lined paper. So I just used the lines on the lined paper and rock and roll, they'll be nice and even. And so I have a whole bunch of nails that I just got, you know, at my local Home Depot and I'm just using my Saskatchewan Rough Riders hammer and I'm just hammering these in. Now you can see there that I put one at the bottom, one at the top and one on the each side there just to keep the piece of paper in place while I put all of the nails in. And magically all of the nails are in place just like that and try your best to make sure that the nails are approximately the same height as well oh yeah and go riders <laughs> okay so just removing the paper you just have to pull it up rip it out and rock and roll to reveal our heart of nails underneath and so I'm just going to use some baker's twine. I'm pretty sure I got it at the Dollar Tree. It might be from Dollarama from somewhere, but just regular baker's twine. And I'm just tying a double knot at the bottom of my heart there. And I will just clip off the tail. And we're just going to string the baker's twine all over this heart just to fill it in. So make sure when you're doing string art, you want to uh, be sure that you have a lot of tension. Um, if you don't, and if you lose tension, it will unravel on you. So, you know, just going back and forth, filling it in, you can fill it in as much or as little as you want. Just fill, 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 make sure you hit every single one of those nails though going around this heart and of course like once you're you're satisfied with you know the amount that the heart has been filled in then you will start to do your border so all you need to do is what I did first, I pushed down all of the strings so that I have enough of the nail to wrap around each nail as I'm going around the border. So I'm just pushing all of these strings down first. And then I am just going to push down even more. <laughs> all the way around, push them down. Okay, and then we're just going to wrap and wrap and wrap and go all the way around, making sure to hit every single nail. 
So just around and around and around just to create a nice straight border. Now when you're wrapping it around, you wanna make sure you're going the, in the same direction because if you don't, then your line will not be straight. So just make sure, you know, if you're going counterclockwise or clockwise, I'm going clockwise around each one, just wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap all the way around to create the border of your heart. And so here you will see, this is where I'm going to end my string. So I'm just gonna clip it off first and then I will uh, just create a knot going underneath the strings. And then you can see here, I just wrap it around and then go underneath the strings here. You can see, I'm just going to thread it through and then this will create my knot to finish this off. So there we go, thread it around, and we're gonna just put that through the loop and then tie it off. Just like that, and make sure you tie it really nice and tight. Pull it really nice and tight, Everything is all tight there. <laughs> and then, of course, we're going to go back around again and bring up all the strings because we pushed them down to do the, the, um, the border. So I just pull them all up so everything is nice and snug and secure. And we have that gap going around. Clip off the excess and look at that. Our string art heart is complete. And so here I'm just using this black tag that I got at the Dollar Tree. And one of these keys, now I think, I think I got that at Dollar Tree. I'm not 100% sure, you guys. Um, I know that you can find keys at any craft shop or anything like that. I might have gotten those at Dollar Rum. I'm not 100% sure. And so I just clipped off a little bit of the tag because it was a, just a titch too long. And here I'm just using my miter shears and I'm just creating that tag shape again using the 45 degree angle. And I'm just going to rough up the edges just a titch with my sanding block, just like that. And I'm grabbing my crop a dial here and um, I am just going to punch a hole in the wood right there, this Carapa dial is fantastic. I haven't used it very much, but I should use it more because it's fantastic. Like, it's very, very cool. I got it for Christmas multiple years ago and I just never pull it out. And so I just created that hole there in my little wooden tag. And there we go. And now I've created this decal off on my Cricut. Um, it says, love you on it. Now, of course, if you don't have a Cricut, you can use your own penmanship. You can use um, stickers if you want to. Like there's multiple things that you can do. I don't trust my own penmanship. I do, I feel like I have nice writing, but it's not, I just don't trust it. So I always use my Cricut, but again, you can use white stickers that you can get at the Dollar Tree um, or, you know, just write it out. And so I just grabbed another piece of that Baker's twine and I'm just tying the key and the tag together with a little bow there, just like that. And I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of hot glue. We're going to put that on the back of the tag just to secure that in place. And you'll see here, I think I grabbed my scissors maybe, um, just to push from underneath, yes, so that the glue does adhere to the, the heart there. And that is it for this one, you guys. Isn't it so cute? It's so pretty. It looks so good in a tiered tray. Like, put it up by your wedding photo. Like, anything, it's so pretty.
All right, you guys, I really hope that you're enjoying today's video. And I just wanted to pop in here as per usual to remind you that if you like home decor on a budget, stuff that looks like super high end, like you got it at a real fancy schmancy store, but you made it yourself, and you made it with stuff from the Della store, then you have come to the right place. So make sure that you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that your notification bell is set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And of course, I wanna give a huge shout out to all of my breezers out there, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between. I absolutely love you guys. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. And with that being said, let's get back into those projects. All right, and here we go with DIY number two. And we are going to use one of these little wooden artist palettes. It is from the Dollar Tree. And I believe it's either six by six or seven by seven. I'm not 100% sure what the dimensions are on that. What is that? I think it's six by six. And I'm just going to use my uh, Wood Tint in Walnut by Folk Art. And I just grabbed a paper towel and I'm just going to spread that over the entirety of this, this wood artist palette and on the back as well. So when you're using this uh, wood tint, you guys, again, look at my hands, put on gloves, this stuff stains. So, you know, I've learned I use gloves every single time now. <laughs> now this black burlap sheet I got at the Dollar Tree and I just absolutely love it. So I am just measuring off the inside of this artist palette and I'm just going to cut out a piece of this burlap to fit inside. Now, um, I'm pretty sure it only comes one per package from the Dollar Tree. I found them not too long ago, so hopefully you guys can find them in stock. I think that like they're so, it's so nice. You can use it for scrapbooking, for card making, all of that stuff, but I just thought it would be perfect for this project because you know, these uh, projects are very neutral and I just love it how with, you know, the, the stain and the black, um, it just looks so nice, so. Cut that down to size and then I'm just using my hot glue and we're just gonna smush that right into the center of this artist palette. Just like so. <laughs> There we go. And now this little pack of teeny tiny little hearts I also found at the Dollar Tree. They're wood as well. And so you'll see here, I'm just spreading them out and then I just kind of, you know, wiggle them around and pretty much just let them fall to however they fell naturally. And I am going to grab each one of these hearts just exactly how they, they you know, fell down and hot glue them onto the black burlap here. So every single one. Now, if you're not into the neutral vibe, you guys, you can absolutely paint these hearts if you want to. Um, you can paint them your traditional Valentine's Day uh, colors. You can paint them, you know, if you wanna use your wedding colors, like there's a bajillion things that you can do. And you can see here, um, I'm, I just grabbed my white chalk paint and I decided to paint up two of these hearts in the white chalk paint just to make them stand out a little bit here. And I'm just using a detailed brush, doing it nice and slowly. Obviously this is sped up <laughs> for your viewing pleasure because you don't need to watch me paint really slowly. Um, but yeah, just paint up two of the hearts on here and I chose ones that were you know kind of facing up that were close to each other there. This project just pretty much developed as I was going. I kind of had a vision for it but then you know it kind of changed in into what the end result is. <laughs> and so I printed off 
or cut out these teeny tiny little decals on my Cricut as well. One says you and the other says and me. And again, you guys, you can use your own penmanship with a really uh, fine tip Sharpie. Um, I just don't like my writing, so. <laughs> I decided just to do it that way. And that's it for this project. It's really simple, but how pretty is that? And as usual, you guys, I've saved the best one for last, DIY number three. So I got this wood palette thing from Walmart. I did get it discounted because it has some stains on it and whatnot. So I think they're regular, like 10 bucks, and I think I got it for legit maybe $2.50. So it was a smoking deal, and I didn't care that it had a few flaws on it. And I'm just uh, removing the hardware, like the staples and the hanger from the back. And then there is also this um, screw and a piece of plastic on it. I think that was just for display purposes um, that I removed there. And so I grabbed some of my nautical rope and cut off the end there and just um, secured it back down with some hot glue. And I am just going to work out the shape of a heart here with this nautical rope and try to get it as centered as you as you can there and uh, make sure that you're getting a nice shape for this heart and then I just grabbed my pencil just so I have it as a guide and went around the entire thing um, so that I know exactly where I need to put my hot glue and so using some hot glue, we're just gonna go along the line that I created with my pencil there and all the way around to secure this rope onto the palette. And there we go, all the way around. Clip off the excess, obviously, bring that all together um, in the center and rock and roll. We have our little rope heart. And it came out pretty good, like it's not completely perfect, but you know, the shape is pretty good, I think. And so I am just grabbing my Solo Wood Flowers. Now I know that Dollar Tree did carry these for a little while. I got them directly from Solo Wood Flowers. Um, I will try to put the link down in my description box. And uh, they have a whole bunch of really, really beautiful flowers. Um, I just absolutely love these Solo Wood Flowers. So, you can see there I arranged them in such a way, you know, to go along the bottom um, on the one side here of this heart. And I'm just using my hot glue and uh, filling that in with my solo wood flowers. They're so pretty, like they're so woodsy looking and very neutral and just, they're so detailed and absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna be sad when I run out of these and I'm gonna to have to buy more, <laughs> 100%. And there we go, so that bottom portion is all done. And next, oh, I guess I need to fill in another spot. Okay, so um, I decided that I did wanna put a few of the flowers up on the top, like opposite of what I did on the bottom there. So I just grabbed a few, not as many as I did on the bottom, but um, just a few there to fill in that upper portion of the heart as well. Now I have seen on Pinterest people actually using um, their solo wood flowers to create the entire heart, which is also very beautiful. And now I'm using this uh, wooden heart and my wood tint and a shablam. I stained that up with that wood tint again here. And um, I, I printed or I, I cut out this decal with white uh, vinyl on my Cricut and it says je t'aime, which means I love you uh, en français. 
Um, I'm actually making this for my son to give to his girlfriend for Valentine's Day. She is in the French immersion program at their high school, so I thought it would be just absolutely gorgeous for him to give to her for, for V-Day. <laughs> Isn't it so pretty? I absolutely love it. everyone that is it for these love themed neutral valentine's day diys i love how these came out i just think that they are so pretty so neutral like and you guys i'm obsessed with string art i hope you don't mind because I just think it's so gorgeous and it's so simple. It's so easy. So you can expect to definitely see more string art on my channel, but check out this vignette. Like, excuse me, that is gorgeous. And you can have this up in your house all year long. I can just envision, you know, having your wedding photo in there or, you know, a, a photo of you and your valentine um with that all in the background oh come on come on there it is it's so beautiful so as always tell me down in the comments which one was your favorite and if you like what you see do me a solid tap that like button maybe subscribe tell your friends you know all of that jazz stay tuned for the gag reel bye guys all right everybody i'm just come back. on the center of myself okay so i am noticing i'm filming on my phone i am getting a whole bunch of these spam things that say you've won like a draw or a gift card or a uh like something from my channel please do not click on anything don't look anything up it is all fake i have nothing to do with telegram so public service announcement you guys that ain't legit and of okay mm. And I really love these projects. I think that they turned out as so great. So buckle up, y'all. <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> and of course, everything that you see will be, hmm, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> so you can see, okay, this is kind of weird, but in my living room, this let me see if I can point to it right there. That is like the reflection in the mirror. And I did some new stuff. Like I got a clock up there and a, and a plant and it says beach. And you know, I'm willing summer to happen, I guess. I don't know, but I've changed some stuff around. And not everything that you see, like obviously, I do have a few things that I've made. This is kind of my display um, shelves over here. Um, but most of the stuff that I get or that I have in my house is from winners <laughs> or home sense. Like I just got an artichoke. Um, I was so excited because I used to have a, heart, a, a white artichoke a long time ago. And um, I was carrying the tray that it was on and it fell and it broke and it was absolutely devastating. So that was probably about five years ago. And then I saw one at winners the other day and I was like, I don't care what the price is. <laughs> I'm grabbing this artichoke. I will, I will, I will show you. <laughs> I will show you my prized artichoke. I was so happy. <laughs> Here's my beautiful artichoke. Look at it. It's so gorgeous. And then you see, here's the rest of my living room. That's where I sit. And then look at, look outside. It's actually snowing. 
it's snowing. Look over here. It is snowing. Ah! Worst winter ever. All right, you guys, thank you so much for... Mm. The tip of the tongue that eat the lips. The tip of the tongue that eat the lips. <laughs> Am I still too close? <clears throat> Want to be all up in your business? I'm in your business. <laughs> okay, um, I think we good. You good? You good? I'm good. You good? We all good?